Beneath the waves lurks a stealthy war machine. Submarines, the silent killer. Capable of carrying out a nuclear attack, today's submarines play a key role in the national defense of many countries. Rarely sighted, they patrol the world's oceans while their crews watch and wait, ready to take their enemy by surprise. Underwater craft have a long and colorful history. In 332 BC, Alexander the Great is said to have commissioned a very fine barrel made of white glass, so he could view the depths of the sea during the Siege of Tyre. In 1620, Dutch scientist Cornelius Drebbel built an enclosed rowboat with waterproof leather oars. The craft traveled from Westminster to Greenwich along the River Thames. Its hydrodynamic form enabling it to travel underwater when it was propelled ahead by the oarsmen. The next 150 years saw several innovative designs, including the Rotterdam, a wooden submersible with a clockwork engine, and Giovanni Borelli's diving bell, in which the passenger would inhale oxygen via a breathing tube. With so many of the world's battles being fought on water, it was obvious to military strategists that an underwater craft would be a huge tactical advantage. In 1776, American inventor David Bushnell designed and constructed the first military submarine. Known as the Turtle, the tiny craft was intended to break the British naval blockade of New York Harbor during the War of Independence by setting explosives on the ship's hulls. The plan failed, but the idea of using a submersible craft to carry weaponry gained momentum. In the 1790s, at the request of French Emperor Napoleon, American engineer Robert Fulton built the Nautilus, a metal submarine powered by a surface sail. When the craft was submerged, a leather snorkel tube delivered air to the occupants. Fulton also had success with carcasses, his term for floating explosives that could be towed by the submarine and used against ships. The American Civil War saw the first practical examples of submarine warfare. The American Navy commissioned the Alligator in 1861 with plans to use the iron submersible to destroy bridges and boats with limpet mines but the craft sank in bad weather less than a year after its launch. It was left to the Confederate submarine H.L. Hunley to make history by becoming the first submersible to successfully destroy a target. On February 17, 1864, the Hunley blew up the House of Tonic, a sloop of war moored at the entrance of South Carolina Harbor with a torpedo, fatally damaging itself in the process. As the century wore on, inventors experimented with various power sources. John Holland's designs used an internal combustion engine for surface power and electric battery power under water. In 1900, a Holland submarine became the first submersible purchased by the United States Navy. It carried three torpedoes ready to be fired from an 18-inch torpedo tube and a mortar for surface use. Holland also sold models to Britain, Russia, and Japan. In 1905, Theodore Roosevelt visited the USS Plunger and became the first American president to dive in a submarine. Roosevelt told a reporter, I went down in it chiefly because I did not like to have the officers and enlisted men think I wanted them to try things I was reluctant to try myself. I believe a good deal can be done with these submarines, although there is always the danger of people getting carried away with the idea and thinking that they can be of more use than they possibly could be. 